guys. Um, well, I ain't done a video blog for a while, so I thought I'll uh, do one. Um, I haven't really caught a load of fish. I had a nice 21 um, and an 18 last Friday night. Down at my 35 acre rest syndicate. Um, done a fair few blanks, so to be honest with you, probably about five in the last month. Um, reason being, I can keep saying I'm off this fully scale, so I'm not really chasing the fish. I'm just sort of baiting and hoping that it'll be in that area that I know um, that's been cut from previously, blah blah. But I won't go into that um, too much. But yeah. I've been rocking it out and to be honest where I'm struggling. Um I've gone from highs to lows really. Hopefully uh, I'll start getting amongst a few again but you know it's the way fishing goes in the end of the day. So I've decided to come down with my cousin uh, Matt and my other cousin, um Chris, so there's three of us, a um, little family outing, um to our local runs water. It's our little six acre syndicate that we've got, um friends water and uh yeah, it's absolutely pucker weather. Um, got down here about three o'clock, so I just put some zigs out for a few hours. Um, no avail, didn't have it on them. Um, so I've decided to go to Bottom Bait Rigs, Little Snowmen. Um, uh, I'll show you the rigs anyway I'm using, but it's just basically semi stiff um, end trap, um, a size eight um, choddy hook. Um, I've been trying the curves as well to so see which ones get the better hook hold. Um, and basically it's just Project A14 Mill Bottom Bay tips with white chocolate, homemade white chocolate pop up and whittled down um, so yeah and I've got a Frutella on one of them again or snowmen I've just changed my left hand rod over to the white chocolate because um, I've caught a fish um, I'm fishing about just over 90 yards uh, across to the far margin um, reed line um, it's a bit of a cast, um, but I'm managing it, just fishing uh, helicopter rigs, a standard 10 inch hook length, um, like I say, um, a choddy hook, etc. Uh, I put out a kilo of bait and then didn't bother putting any rigs on there, I just left it alone. I fished zigs out in open water and I say I've put a rig out, put the rigs out about an hour and a half ago and it's ripped off. Um, got a lovely little common in the net, not massive, they're not, not huge in here. Um, they do go up to 18s, maybe a 20, but there's a lot of um, 6, 7, 8, 9 pounders like. Um, so you can get through them, you've got a better chance for getting a better, better stamp of fish. So yeah, I've got a little common in the net. That just came on a Project A and White Chocolate. Uh, like I said, that's why I put two rods on it now. Because um, I'm fishing to the far, far bank, I'm fishing uh, back leads um, and locked up. Uh, and quite tight lines, but that's to the back lead anyway, so you know, line still on the deck as I like it. Um, and this time I've got my rods down, you know. If I'm fishing slack lines and chodders, I always have my tips up, but tips down, you know, that's normally the way I go. Um, time and place for every little, everything that I believe. Um, it's not a time for tips up, um, don't need to complicate things, you know, just. Not having no free rears, I'm just putting the rig straight out there. So I'm saying it's a good chuck. So I started off on stringers, but I just couldn't get out there. So I just put bottom base bottom. I know I'm in the area. I walk around to bait up. So I know I'm absolutely cock on with baiting. I've got bait scattered about. So I expect a few more. It looks absolutely pucker. I'll show you that spot shortly. Um, showing me rods how they're set up. And uh, the fish in the net. And obviously, um, I'm not going to bother weighing it. It's not massive. It's probably looking at. Might touch ten pound, more like nine pounds, something like that. But um, I'll offer it up and uh, just quickly give you a glimpse of it. And hopefully, there'll be a few more. Cousins, Chris has lost one. Matt has had a couple of clearances, but no, it's happened. So, it's been bloody up today, though. That, by the way, came to the goo as well. Um, it was Project A, um, which is a bit caramelly, um, and I put um, caramel goo on there, corda goo. Um, so I don't know if that's worked, but it's certainly worked. Um, so I put camera go on everything now. It's got me a few bonus fish to be honest with the go. So yeah, happy days, booker. So I'll show you the uh, swim now. Um, I don't know if you can see them trees over there. There's a reed line starts there, goes all the way along, and then ends into that peg there. 
I'm fishing one rod in that area to the right, another one as it like bellies in sort of thing. Just put a little bit of scattering. I've also got one just over off this tree, just there. So yeah, weather is absolutely pucker. You know, it's gonna be about 11 degrees tonight. It's been about 20 plus today. So you know, happy days. This is my rods this time. As I say, tips down, time and place for everything. Um, and then pretty, pretty tight lines. Because I'm saying most of them are going to be drop backs um, with back leads. Uh, so I'm going to be able to register drop back, taking all the slack lines and getting me in the reeds. And there it is, a lot of fishing in the net. I'll see if I can just uh, show you a little quick glimpse of it in the net. There she is, look. See that? Pucker. Happy days. We'll get her out. We'll get her out. And we'll uh, sort that out. Quick, give you a quick proper show of it, Booker. Common about, I don't know, seven pounds, something like that. Fairly lean. Um, don't look to be carrying any spawn. It's probably a male fish. Um, Project A, as I said earlier, um, bottom bait rig. Um, like a little snowman style, gooed up. Um, over some reeds, 90 yards, absolutely ripped off. Um, Pucker. Also got a, a snotty um, on my left hand rod. Taken over again, Project A. Um, seem to be liking the white chocolate. Um, Project A took white chocolate at the minute, whittled down. So, you know, <clears throat> put all rods onto that for now. Seems to be the winning combination. Um, and as I was sorting this fish out, <coughs> left hand rod went again. Um, I've got a lovely mirror, um, probably similar size, uh, so we'll get that one now and uh, show you. Happy days. Um, just coming on to the end of the session now, down at the Six Acre Runs Water, um, with my two cousins. Um, it's been quite a hectic session really. Uh, I've taken seven carp and one bream, um, and this is the biggest carp, last fish of the session, um, which is the biggest. Um, it's lovely common, probably around 13, 14 pounds, may do a little bit more got a, a gut on it like but um yeah taking on the uh, long range rods uh, about 90 yards to the uh, reed beds and uh, probably put out nearly two key of project a over the session and they've been having it um, majority of the bikes have come from there um, i'll just hoist her up show you it and then i'll show you the rig um, that i've been catching catching the fish on so yeah get it up Fat little bugger. Nice little. One or two leeches on it. There you go, common around 13, 14 pound. May do a little bit more, but I, won't. I think it's probably about that. Um, nice little common. Happy days. Got to show the rig that's been doing the damage. Just basically this um, semi stiff end trap, size 8 choddy hook, um, and just a little bit stripped back just for the hair, just to give out a bit of softness for the hair. And the rest of it is just um, the coated braid straight through. Um, about 10 inch hook length, Project A 14mm with a white chocolate tipped with caramel goo. Um, we'll just quickly show you it. This one's been doing damage, We've taken 8 fish on this session. Um, seven carp, one bream, and uh, yeah, I caught a few carp in the night, but I didn't bother recasting the rod. I watched some sleep, to be honest. Um, don't be kept awake all night, so I probably had a lot more. But you know, not really interested in catching loads of small stuff. I'd rather just uh, um, catch me, uh, catch, catch up on sleep, and just have a, you know, a few hours in the daytime and catch a few more like that. So I'll just show you the rig, and uh, that'll do it. As you can see, that's the rig. There, just the bottom bait. See it there? Look, that's the rig. Size that choddy. Cut it all the way through. Supple hair. I say about ten inches long. That should just sit somewhere like that, really. 
I should set that on the bottom. So that's it. It's worked well on this particular session. So 